The baby boy remains in the mother's belly for 9 months of gestation. Everything is quiet and peaceful. And bam, the baby gets born in deep water, because that's where the mothers give birth. The baby is about 90 pounds and cannot swim. At least the water is not too deep, so the baby uses the floor as its jumping support and fights its way to the surface. Once it reaches the surface, it is welcomed by the unforgiving heat of the African savanna. It has a sensitive skin, no fur, and is ridiculously vulnerable to the scorching sunburn. For the first couple of weeks, the only relationship and contact the baby has is with its mother. She walked away from the Yippo clan for the special occasion, and also so that the baby can remain safe from a really toxic family. During that time, the baby hippopotamus is taught how to operate and move underwater. As a matter of fact, they get their mother's milk while being submerged in water. After the first couple of weeks, the kid and the parent go back to the clan and it looks like a nightmare. The family is made up of over 100 deadly sociopathic scoundrels that choose violence 7 days a week and twice on Sundays. Contrary to common misconceptions, hippos are not the cute and friendly animals people mistakenly believe they are. No, 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 they're among the most aggressive animals known to man. The family lives in a rigid hierarchy where there is generally a dominant male, the alpha, and they regularly fight with each other because of female competition. It is brutal, and for the baby, it makes the water as safe as trusting a shark with your hands. In fact, the male hippos may decide to cancel the kid's life subscription, generally for two reasons. First, to control overpopulation in the clan, and second, to have the mother being fertile again so that he can have another kid with her, if you know what I mean. However, the advantage of being part of such a belligerent family is that other predators stay away from the babies. In worst cases, they have to be really desperate to even consider the possibility of approaching the kids. Sometimes the baby even mess around with fully grown predators who won't retaliate because they don't want any smoke with the parents. The baby hippopotamus is now an adult. It reaches maturity at age 9 for males and age 7 for females. It is 13 feet long and 5 feet tall at the shoulder and weighs over 2 tons, rivaling the mass of a Range Rover. It is the biggest land mammal on earth, after the elephant and the rhino. It has a bite force capable of going through a watermelon like a hot knife through butter, making it the fifth strongest bite force in the animal kingdom. During its early age, the hippo learned how to strive in its family, which is by being a champion of aggressivity and an ostentatious display of malicious intentions. On a yearly basis, the hippo deletes about 500 humans, that's over 20 times more than lions. And contrary to lions who attack in order to feed their family, hippos are vegetarians, and yet they go out of their ways to change your life for the worst. I mean look at the man chasing someone's boat with horrifying commitment to the task and no apparent motivation other than it doesn't want you to keep your life for yourself. They are also terrible neighbors and would regularly launch unprovoked attacks towards other animals. Everyone gets bullied, even lions and rhinos, but not elephants, elephants are off limit for everyone. Having no fur, the malicious Range Rover is particularly vulnerable to sunburn, which is why it stays around large bodies of water. Hippos are considered semi-aquatic animals. They can hold their breath for about 5 minutes and when they need air, they rise to the surface for a quick breath and go back in the water again. They are so genetically conditioned to that mechanism that they even do it in their sleep. Although hippos are committed to have a toxic relationship with nearly every animate being, they seem to have an evolutionary peace treaty with fish. When they are underwater, they let fish in their mouths to clean their teeth, which also rid them of bacterial infection while providing food to the fish at the same time. Fish also get food from the hippo's back door, bringing the notion of ass kissing to a whole other level. Like most criminals, nighttime is when the hippopotamus is most active. They are no longer taken hostage by the heat of the sun and are free to travel to get food. And food, their heavy bodies need a lot of it. They get about 40 kilograms of grass on a daily basis. Within the clan, hippo's social behavior is a disaster. As mentioned before, they live in a strict hierarchy with generally one dominant male. The alpha marks its territory by spreading dung all over it. It keeps the species with the most food for himself, keeps all the female of the clan for himself, no other male will get a girlfriend on his watch. The Alpha is also responsible for resolving conflicts in the clan by means of capital punishments. 
They're simultaneously judge, jury, and executioner. Hippos have a very long lifespan. They live for about 40 to 50 years. During old age, being an alpha is a very unhealthy hobby because they have a giant targets on their backs. The younger hippos will regularly challenge their leadership and are also likely to succeed. And of course, the alpha's retirement is not peacefully negotiated. At that point of their lives, what gives the old hippo an edge is strong experience of the clan's dynamic and an advanced knowledge of how to find good food sources. Over time, the old hippo developed a rich, a complex communication arsenal that will allow it to live as safely as possible. After all, 40 to 50 years of life means that they had ample time to learn from their mistakes. They learned how to be calmer and less confrontational. They transmit their knowledge to their younger ones, which makes them essential to the clan's prosperity. During their last days, they stay more humble and peaceful because after all, being relatively unnoticed is a great way to live for a long time in the savannah.